Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. Today I'm doing some textured art and I'm not going to be shy. I purchased this joint compound and uh, there's a lot of it. There's uh, two and a quarter kilos. Not sure what that is in pounds. Um, but I'm going to be adding it onto my canvas all over and just creating lots of texture. Um, I haven't opened it yet. Let's have a look at it. I don't really know what to expect. I've seen people use it on the internet. And uh, yeah, I don't even know if it's going to be grey or white. There we go. It is fairly white. That's good. And let's just slap it on. I wonder how thick it is. Let's have a look. Ooh bit thicker than I thought actually it might create a really cool texture it's quite different to the um, modeling paste that I usually use and let's get this one out actually I reckon we need more wow <laughs> just put it all on it's a little bit thick there I don't know how long this is going to take to dry just making sure I've got the whole canvas covered probably enough on there now I've just got to create what I would like all right let's lightly go this way and I'm just looking to see what sort of patterns I'm creating Did I go overboard? I wanted to go overboard. Okay. I'm just trying to get some real lumpy bits now. Turn it around. Let's have a look at it on different angles. keep turning it I think this is actually looking really good this is what I wanted really deep texture Beautiful. Going to um, turn off one of these lights and let's see if we can see the reflection. Not the reflection, the, uh, the shadows. So lots of texture on this piece. Uh, I'm going to let that dry overnight. All right, this is nice and dry and the texture I just I reckon it's going to be really good. I'm looking forward to seeing how this turns out. Um, I've got some 
neutral grey here and some titanium buff white uh, buff light that I've just mixed with a little bit of pouring medium to help spread it all over my canvas and I've grabbed some extra colors some Payne's grey some Van Dyke brown raw sienna and burnt sienna and some titanium white I've also got out some red not sure if I'm going to use it yet but we'll see and I guess I should get out my spray bottle so I've just grabbed some water to rinse out my brushes and I've grabbed my trusty four inch paddle brush for putting my first layer down so let's chuck some of this grey down and some of this I wonder if I should put a little bit, bit of this white. This one's not mixed, but I'm going to put some white there as well. I haven't wet the canvas at all, or my brush. Maybe that might help spread it. Let's just wet it a little bit. So this is my base layer. I wanted it a little bit on the dark side so that uh, when I brush some lighter colours over the top I might get a bit of that darker look around the outside or deep in the crevices. I'm just going to make it a little lighter towards the centre. Now, I don't know if I've actually said what my plan was. I was lying in bed last night thinking about colour palettes and how I wanted this to look. And I kind of want the top, this is the top for me, the top two thirds light, a mid tone down the bottom, and a dark line. So let's work on getting this top a bit lighter. So I'm just going to keep using this brush for a little bit. I'm going to see what this colour looks like blended in. The raw sienna. Give it a little bit of colour. I have started creating a bit of texture down the bottom, which is looking really good. Oh. Yeah, liking it. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry and um, we'll come back and add some more colors. All right, this has dried a bit. Um, I'm just trying to decide here. This is probably a little bit runny to use. Actually, I might mix some white in with it. That'll thicken it up and give me a colour that's not so creamy. I'm going to put this on here. I just want to add a small amount to this brush. Let's see how this goes.
Just getting some of that texture on my edges. top quite nicely. I'm going to add a little bit of colour down here now. I think I'm going to use the raw sienna mixed in with this colour. Cool. Thinking about letting that dry a little bit more. Alright. I'm gonna wash these brushes out and I'm gonna come back when that's a little bit drier. Okay. So this is still a little bit tacky, but I'm gonna risk it. It's, it's dry around the edges. Um, this middle bit here, I thought I would try using some impasto. So I've mixed up a couple of colours here. I've got a Payne's Grey with a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, and then this one is Van Dyke Brown mixed with the raw sienna. So um, I'm going to use that through the middle just to create some extra texture. I also grabbed out some gold uh, that I might use through there as well. This is a dimension paint which is, I think is basically the same thing. So I'm going to keep that for this area. I thought I might start coming in with my palette knives. I'm going to try it through the top here and I want to go very very easy like let's just Let's try it. That's really, <laughs> I'm being very cautious. So I want it to be quite sort of grungy. I want some like almost white. Yeah, I like that. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. Right, I'm going to keep layering this up through the top.
right now. Very, very grungy. I'm going to try the gold first. I like this. Oh, that was a little bit much. All right. Got a bit of gold happening through there. I might still add more of that yet. Right, now let's try and build this up with a nice dark line. Not sure how this is going to work. Just dabbing little bits on. Now, with the red, am I going to add any of that in? I don't think so. I think the um, burnt sienna in here adds enough colour. I might add a little bit more of the burnt sienna just in here. So that actually looks like the red that I wanted in this piece. I want more white up the top and a little bit lighter down the bottom. All right, let's go back down here. this I just was adding a little a little bit of a different texture so it's just gives it that tiny little bit of interest It's almost done. I just need to straighten this line up. Just I'm going to add the tiniest little bit of red. Might not even see it.
Okay. Here is the final result. And I hope you can see the gold shining on this because it looks really pretty. It was a bit hard to see in the uh, other video. But hopefully now with the way I've got the light shining on it, you can see it. And the texture, let me take you on the side so you can see the texture. And it's so, so grungy. The, um, the impasto is a little bit on the glossy side. And I really like this part here, draws your eye in. But yeah, look at that texture. That's just crazy. Obviously you don't have to create a texture quite as uh, rough as this, but I just wanted to experiment. And uh, I think it turned out really good. So I hope you like that one, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye.